This is Cameron Chai bringing you another episode of Azo TV. Today I'm speaking to John Sheen from Thermo Scientific Niton XRF Analyzers. Mm -hmm. And he's going to today show us and give us a demonstration of their new Niton FXL system. Great. Thanks, Cameron. So what we have here, the Thermo Scientific Niton FXL, is our new platform, a uh, completely new uh, concept in mobile XRF testing. What we've done is we've taken the features that are typically found on lab-grade analyzers, combined those with the ease of use that people have become accustomed to with our best handheld XRF analyzers, and married them together in a field mobile platform that's ruggedized and designed for people to use out in the field. So it's got a large sample chamber designed to accommodate drill cores, printed circuit boards, uh, bag samples for uh, mining and exploration. It can analyze all sorts of different samples and uh, inside we've got a couple of features as well that are designed to really accentuate the field deployed nature of the product. So what we can do is we can pop up the uh, this plate over here and I can show you a few of those. So first off the x-ray measurement head is shock isolated. So the x-ray tube and the detector are shock shock resistant, allowing for the system to be transported in rugged areas in the backs of pickup trucks without damage to the analyzer. Another really interesting feature that we've got is an, a flow-through air plenum that keeps the electronics, the very sensitive electronics of the analyzer, completely isolated from the dust and dirt that's present in typical, uh, in typical industrial and mining environments. So it uh, preserves and protects the, uh, the analyzer while at the same time allowing it to stay cool and operate in uh, very difficult conditions. So why don't we go ahead and put the sample on the, uh, on the system. I'm gonna go ahead and log on to the analyzer. So to take a measurement, uh, for, again, for those familiar with our, uh, our handhelds, what we'll do is we'll come into method setup. We're going to select mining, in this case, copper zinc. We'll go over to the test window, and we can see that there's a camera on board the analyzer that allows us to help position the sample uh, to look for inclusions in this particular piece of drill core. We do have options to change the beam size from eight millimeters down to three or down to one millimeter. We'll leave it on eight millimeters for the time being. So to initiate a reading, it's as simple as hitting the soft start key over here or the green button. We'll do that, but we'll see that this is truly a closed beam system with complete safety interlock. So we'll have to go ahead and close the cover before we can initiate a measurement. So if I close the cover and hit the start button, we'll see that the orange x-ray lights begin to flash and it begins to acquire data. We're capturing and displaying both the x-ray spectrum as well as the chemical composition in uh, uh, ppm or percent by weight along with the two sigma confidence interval along the, uh, the right-hand side of the screen. As with our handheld analyzers, the longer your measurement time, the better the precision. For every four-fold increase in measurement time, the precision improves by a factor of two. Now, a couple of the features that this has, that we've taken from the laboratory and brought to the, to the field are a 10-watt x-ray tube. That compares to the 2-watt x-ray tube we have in our handhelds. What that means, everything else being equal, is that customers will be looking at detection limits roughly 50% lower than our very best handheld analyzers. At the same time, we'll have options for the XY sample stage, as well as a sample spinner. And the samples, those are both features that are typically found in lab-grade XRF analyzers. So what we've done is we've taken the best parts of the lab systems, uh, combined those with the ease of use of our handhelds, put that into a field deployable package that can run on batteries or on AC power, and uh, operates reliably and ruggedly out in the field, at the same time making it very easy to use. So John, we can see it's quite a compact unit. Can you tell us about how much it weighs? Sure, it weighs about uh, 13 kilos or uh, 30 pounds, thereabouts. So it's still quite portable and easy to carry around relatively? Exactly, so we can, we can easily close up the lid, pick it up like that, and uh, take it around to uh, wherever it is you need to go. And it's, it's, uh, you were saying that it's quite, apart from being rugged, it's, it's, it's obviously suited to be going in the field, being used in the field and working in dusty environments and things like that? Yes, yeah, so we have a, uh, the flow-through air plenum does keep the electronics completely isolated from the, 
uh, uh, from the dusty and dirty environment. There are no filters to clog. There's no uh, filters that get removed that never get replaced, so the electronics end up getting dirty. It really is designed as a uh, as a rugged field mobile device. And its main applications are sort of mining, geology, that type of thing? Main applications are mining and geology. That's what we have with the yellow analyzer. And then consumer goods 